and can see the pulsation and the signal which to me would not be a full powered station um, the location here is in Fridley um, so I've been giving TPT all the information that I've gathered on the research of the signal and I've been studying these signals for years even the new signal I've been studying, even the old analog and uh, this is no way a full powered station when it pulsates this bad you know it's pulsating from 70 down to 50 I've been seeing so there's no way this would be a full powered television station or transmitter the transmitter is probably half the power and I'd say this transmitter is probably putting out I did my research here and this this one would act like the 13.7 kilowatts that the transmitter is actually putting out and then if you take it up to channel 23 TPT 23 uh, you're gonna get a hundred percent so these channels here are you can see the pulsation and I got a brand new antenna on this house I got basically a, uh, the stacker um, and I bought that from Denny's antenna so I got a brand new antenna on the house and this is where this is coming from the brand new antenna on the house and it's you know it, it, you know there and it's pointing at the right direction towards Shoreview and my locations here in Fridley and a full power station should not do this if it's full power it should be at a hundred percent if there's less then it it, it uh, there's no way it should pulsate this bad all right now we're gonna check uh, these other channels here This is the same as TPT. And you can see that's the same one. It's going to be on the same RF-34. You're going to get that pulsation. And then that, that to me is not a full powered station at all. Anybody else in the Twin Cities has any problems with TPT? Um, you should give them a, a call give the station a call because I've been working on this for years with them actually months and I'm not getting any results no results at all they just blow me off like I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about alright now we're gonna go to 2-3 and watch this a hundred percent now that channel there I would say that one is putting out, 2-3 would be putting out the actual 25.3 kilowatts from the transmitter. And my location here, like I said, I'm in Fridley. And that's at 100%. So does that make sense? To me it doesn't. So that's, that's a 2-3 that would be the RF 23 that's at a hundred percent so I've been uh, I've been doing my research I've been studying signals and to have these channels this channel basically makes it out to the Howick New London area in western Minnesota where I have a test site and I've been testing signal there for the past couple years that I had the stacker antenna on the pole barn and uh, that comes in good out there so and I'm at my home here in Fridley and look at that that's a hundred percent there's no pulsation there's not of no loss of signal at all and that to me would act like a full full power television station all right We'll uh, take it up to uh, 
We'll go back to the weather channel here on TPT. And then I'll check out the... Uh, Oh, look at that. See, it, it pulsates, so that that is telling me that um, that is not full power. There's no way. Just the way it pulsates there. Shouldn't do that. That's acting like a low-powered station. And I truly believe... That transmitter on RF-34 is putting out the 13.7 kilowatts, and I'm pretty confident that there is an issue here, but the issue is not being resolved. So anybody that has any problems over the air signal with TPT, uh, please give that station a call. I've been working with this numerous times. I contacted the FCC and uh, pretty much nothing's been done. They pretty much just blow me off, act like I'm a nobody, don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but I've been studying this signal or signals for years and I pretty much know that something is not right. Um, to get in, in, in And look at that, the, the pulsation. You know, you're going from 60 to 50 to 68 to 70 to 66, whatever. I mean, it's pulsating all over the place. I mean, if that was a full power television station, if that was up to the uh, 25.3 kilowatts, that would stay at about 100%, especially when I'm not that far from uh, the transmitters. And the, it's wintertime. There's no leaves on the trees. There's no wind outside. Um... It's a pretty still day, and this is in the morning, you know, probably around, oh, I suppose around 9.22 a.m. here, and the pulsation, the signal, yeah, it's just, it's telling me it's not the full power television station that they're telling me, and, you know, I just take it back to 23, and look at that, 100%. Now, you can't tell me that uh, when you're that close to the uh, transmitters that uh, RF, or the RF-34-21-22-24 should pulsate like that. And then this one maintains 100%. All right, we're going to take it up to uh, WCCO. And for example, I'm just going to hit that one. And you know, you see 100% there. And then I'm going to take it to channel 5, KSTP. These are full powered television stations here. And uh, that one's also at 100%. So, and I mean, I could go through all the channels and I'd get about 100% on all of them. But this is a prime example of what I'm getting here in Fridley. So, and then I'll go back to the weather channel, you know, and it's pulsating like that's acting like it's the uh, low power television station. And my location again is Fridley. Which in my eyes isn't right. I mean, there's something wrong here. And uh, they don't want to see it. They don't want to look at it. They don't want to. They don't want to check their signal. They they're pretty much confident that uh, their numbers are right. That no one mixed any. That someone didn't make a mistake somehow down the road when they put the new transmitters up in Shoreview. Uh, that's what they believe. You know, they believe that this one's a full powered station. This is the one that's 662 kilowatts. And then they're telling me that this one here 